A St. Augustine woman is in the hospital after a 30-pound raccoon chased her and her dog into her house. We've got some cool video here. We see how big this raccoon is. They were trapped for an hour and a hour and a half and bitten several times. News Jack's reporter Brianna Andrews joins us live outside Baptist South. And Brianna, you talked with the woman's friend who actually helped fight that raccoon off. Oh my gosh, Bruce, this is a wild story. Well, the good news is that John Ness is okay. He is a little bit shaken up though. And the craziest thing about this is that today is his birthday, but he spent the first half of, half of it, excuse me, right here at the hospital, checking on his friend who is still recovering from her injuries. FWC officers dragged this 30 pound raccoon out of the woman's house in St. Augustine. It chased her inside where friend says it terrorized them for nearly two hours. He was big and very powerful. John Ness lives next door. He says he rushed over when he heard the woman screaming. He tried to shoo it away and says it lunged at him. When he tried to dodge it, it got inside. So once he was in the house, that's when all the real problems started because we couldn't get him out and he was on top of me. He snapped this picture of the animal inside the house. For nearly two hours, he says he tried to fight it off. He even managed to stab it with a knife before he was able to call 911 for help. And I actually had a butcher knife that was about this big, and I used it. <laughs> I know. It's something right out of a horror movie. I actually used the knife as the raccoon was on me to stab it continuously until it finally got off me. And then it actually came back a couple times where I stabbed it a few more times. This is a picture of the woman's foot where the raccoon bit her. She was taken to the hospital and is being screened for rabies. Her dog, who already has its rabies vaccine, was also bitten, but it didn't need medical attention. And wildlife officials took the animal outside and shot it. Now, as for the woman, she was just released from the hospital. She is okay, but of course, still a little bit uh, shooken up. Now, Ness did say he plans on taking her dog to the vet uh, for a wellness check. For now, reporting live, Brianna Andrews, Channel 4, The Local Station.